So a lot of people keep personal information and personal files on their local disk, on their computer, for obvious reasons. Cloud storage can be sketchy, and there's been a lot of data breaches in recent times. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make a password-protected folder on macOS. Personal information files can be anything tax documents, important confidential client work that you're working on, which can be applicable to the photo video world, and you want to keep it safe. Some other people might be using your computer, someone might accidentally find it, or if your computer is on a network in a workplace or home, it can sometimes be unclear whether others can access your files. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make a password protected and encrypted folder on macOS so you can keep all of your files secure and safe and away from prying eyes so only you can see it. All right, so here we are on my computer. And as you can see, I've got this video here. So let's say this was some important client work, maybe a commercial that needed to be kept confidential. So what we're going to want to do is create a new folder that we're going to use as the password protected folder. So let's call it client work. And then put whatever files you want to password protect into it. So now you can see, boom, there's the video. So now what we're going to want to do is open disk utility. I find the quickest way to do that is just, just head into spotlight search, quick command spacebar, boom, disk utility is open. So now we want to go file, new image, image from folder. So this will create a new disk image from the folder that we select. So obviously we're going to want to select the folder that we're uh, wanting to keep confidential. And then we're going to hit choose. So now you can name this new image, whatever you want. And then this is where the uh, DMG file is going to be kept to open it. So probably a desktop would be a good place to go. If you want to keep it a little more hidden, a little less obvious, you can put it somewhere else. Now we're going to want to select encryption. 128 bit, I'm just going to go with that because it's easier, but you can select 256. It's a little slower, uh, but it is more secure. So now I've typed in my password, I'm going to hit choose. Then for image format, what you're probably going to want to go with read and write because most likely you want to take files out and maybe put some new files in. But if you do want it to be read only or compressed because you don't have a lot of stuff, you can put that in as well. Then if we hit save, it's going to go ahead and create the disk image. All right, so now our disk image has been created. It's been finished. Now we can head over to our desktop or wherever we selected to save it, and we'll find a DMG file with the name of the volume that we created. Now this is this file is how you're going to open the volume when you want to access it. So if we double click this DMG, we need to enter our password. Then if you entered your password correctly, you'll see a new volume. It looks kind of like an external hard drive or an SD card that appears up on your desktop or in Finder. And it also appears here in Disk Utility. So what we want to do, we can open that and boom, there's all of our stuff that is encrypted and password protected. Now, if we want to um, close it and have it password locked again, we just need to treat it like a regular external drive and hit eject. So now it's gone. And now it disappears from disk utility. So no one can delete it or anything like that. Speaking of deletion, if you no longer need to keep this work confidential or you've moved it off your system, what you can do is obviously you want to first pull it out of the volume. So take it out, put it wherever you want. Maybe you deleted it. Maybe you gave it to the customer and now it's in your long-term storage, whatever. So now you can see that it's here. So if you want to delete it, what you want to do is right click or double click and go to delete APFS volume. Um, unmounting it or ejecting it will just get it rid, like get it out of this window in disk utility and erasing it will just reformat it, which is not what we want to do. So if you want to delete it permanently, click this and it will erase all data stored on it. So make sure you've moved everything out of the folder or have a copy of it somewhere else. Then if we delete it, 
you can see it's unmounted, it's gone, it's no longer here on the desktop, and it's no longer here in Disk Utility. And there you go, that's how to make an encrypted, password-protected folder on your Mac for all of your important and personal data and files. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe for more like it and other tech-focused videos. And make sure to follow me on Twitter at KyleGNew and visit my website at KyleNewcomb.com.